Charizard has always been my favorite Pokemon of all time. I know it's a bit of a normie choice but I live with it and enjoy all of the hype it gets. I always lingered around the idea of getting a shiny one because turning a fire breeding dragon black and red is always a great idea but there was a slight problem. I just don't find shiny hunting fun. I like playing Pokemon for its story, building my teams, attempting Nuzlocke, and shiny hunting just had no relation to any of that. I figured even if I did not see the appeal, I would complete at least one shiny hunt and Charmander would be the perfect target. Charmander is found in the Blueberry Academy but again I seem to have hit another roadblock. To unlock Charmander you have to farm Blueberry points to unlock it and I had no interest in doing that prerequisite. It turns out I don't have to. I can hunt Charmander in a different game, transfer it to Pokemon Scarlet version, and I knew just the game. Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. These were the prime games to hunt Gen 1 Pokemon like Charmander because of a simple mechanic known as catch combos. Let me put this into practice. This route here has Charmander as a rare spawn. By catching Sandshrew 31 times in this area, the shiny odds for all the Pokemon that can spawn here have been increased to 1 in 341. Pretty low. On top of this, by having a lure active, the odds become even better, being 1 in 315. Those odds are incredible for shiny hunting. Having a catch combo active also has another benefit. It forces the rare Pokemon in this route to spawn, in this case being Charmander. This works because the rare spawns are based on an entirely different encounter table. By encountering and running away from these Charmander, you can force another Charmander to spawn. Doing this allows 5 encounters every minute or close to 300 in an hour which is really close to odds. Before I knew it, it happened. Oh! Oh! Is, is that there? It's right there. Oh my god. Let's go. That was quick actually. That's like that's like 30 minutes. That was quick. Okay, nice shiny Charmander. Okay, this that was that was fun. Let's catch it real quick. Hopefully this thing doesn't run on me or whatever. And let's hopefully Oh no. Oh no. Please catch. Excellent throw, let's go. Haven't played these games in a while, so I don't know if those are easy to come by or not. You caught a Charmander. There we go. And the hunt is complete. It only took about 20 minutes to create the catch combo, mainly because I accidentally messed up on my first catch combo, and it flooded 40 minutes to find the shiny Charmander. I named it Lizardon after its Japanese name and transferred it to Pokemon Scarlet via Pokemon Home. With that, it was time to evolve it. Charmander and Charmeleon in my opinion have an underwhelming shiny being a slightly lighter orange but if it was to get Charizard, it was well worth it. And here we have my Charmeleon evolving into the Charizard and it's glowing all right in the tall grass and there we go shiny charizard it looks super cool one of the main reasons i brought it to pokemon scarlet instead of let's go or sword is because it looks a lot sharper in pokemon scarlet i think they changed the 3d model which is why i brought it here it looks so much cooler and as i said prior a black dragon with red wings is always gonna look cool and honestly, I'm really glad I did this. Not really a shiny hunter, but I'm really glad I did this as my first hunt. I named it Lizardon because I had vague memories of Alon using his Mega Charizard X and watching the Japanese version and him calling it Lizardon. I thought it was super cool. So that's why I named it Lizardon to instill that coolness into him. But yeah, let me put him beside me right now. And look at him, he's flying. Sit down. Sit down, please. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna try to get close to him. And this is cool, man. I mean, I hope Charizard was a little bigger, but like, because like it's, it's like at my height, so I hope Charizard gets 
justice by becoming taller. But I think this is height is cool as well, you know, it's not really standing upright. But yeah, what a cool Pokemon, man. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. This little experiment has definitely changed my perspective on shiny hunting and who knows, I may pick up another shiny hunt soon. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe as it really means a lot. And yeah, see ya. Bye.